Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Very Good nice. Teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Mm. Very good. Nice. Thank you, teacher. And you? Uh, pretty good. Thank you for asking. Uh, can you hear me very well? It's dry. Okay. And what did you do today? Excuse me, teacher. Can you can you hear me now? Yes, yes, right yes, now. Teacher. And oh, you okay. can you hear perfect. Me? Yes, I can now. Oh, thank you. Uh, how was your day? Very busy. Very busy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Thanks, guys. Yeah, okay. It's nice to hear that. Um, and how are you doing with the platform? Well, I finished three days ago. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. Okay, for this week, at least you have to finish section one, two, three, and the midterm exam. So, um, if you need help, please write, but complete those exercises. All those have to be done by Thursday. Okay. So, uh, yesterday we started the section number two. We were practicing the simple past. So today we will continue with that. Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, so we stopped here yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, while well, we were discussing the simple past with, uh, with all the verbs, right? The, uh, the structure for the questions, right? And uh, we said that for questions, we use the auxiliary did and the verb in the base form. But when we answer and we make affirmative statements, we need to change the verb to pass. Okay. And also for negative statements, we use the auxiliary didn't and mm -hmm. we don't change the verb. Okay. And uh, about this, we have this chart. Let me see if it is really yes. But um, remember that for simple past tense with regular verb, we have some spelling rules that we have to put in them into practice. Uh, for verbs that end in E, we just add D, right? For example, the verb live, to make it in past, we just add the letter D as if the same with the pair. You just add T. If the verb ending in vowel plus Y, we add ED. For example, stay, stayed, we added ED. Play, played, we ED. But if the verb end in consonant plus Y, we change the Y to I and add ED, all right? So for example, try, you see the change here. We change the Y to I and add ED. The same with carry as example. If they are one syllable or single vowel and ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ED. For example, not. Not it, rip, rip it, right? So as you can see here, we doubled the last consonant and add ED. If they are two syllables, 
the stress on the second syllable ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ed. For example, commit, committed, preferred, preferred. So those are the spelling rules that we follow when we are um, conjugating simple past regular verbs. Do you have any question with this? Um, we can we can um, add uh, to the Y, finishing in Y, uh, for example, uh, the verb cry, study, to Cry, yes. In this case, it, 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 is, um, it follows this. It's ending in consonant plus Y. So we apply yeah. this, ch this change. Uh-huh, but is but study? Study. Yes? Yeah, it's the same, study. Study, uh-huh. We oh. also change it, yes, because the study ends in consonant plus mm -hmm. Y. In yes. that case, uh-huh, we change the Y to I and add ED. That's true. Thank you, teacher. Okay, any other question or doubt about this? Entonces, teacher, con respecto a estos ejemplos, eh, esos que son regulares, solamente vamos a, a ir viendo las reglas, ¿verdad? De cada uno, depend, dependiendo del verbo. En cambio, con los regulares, o sea, es prácticamente que aprenderse a los todos. Exactly, yes. They don't follow a specific rule. So the best thing or the only thing that we can do with irregular verbs is to learn them by heart, by practicing and memorize them. That's the only thing that we can do. Any other question? Okay, so, and that is um, the exercise that we have in which, uh, so you can see the, um, the rules that we have already reviewed in the previous chart, they apply for regular verbs. And then we have some examples of irregular verbs that they don't follow this rule, the ED rule. For example, we have do, change to did, drive, drove, have, had, go, went, sing, sang, see, so, then, spent. They are irregular. So in this exercise, we are going to complete these conversations using the spelling rules that we already review. You can complete it in your notebook just uh, by conjugating the verb that you have in parentheses and writing the answer. For example, in this number one, uh, so you see the first is the question. What do we need here? Auxiliary. Did, yes, the auxiliary did. And then we have the verb stay. What do I have to do with this? Add ed. Add ed. Uh-huh, stayed. Yeah. Uh-huh, I write it and add ED, stayed. Did you stay at home on Saturday? Uh, teacher, no, no, no. Why no, we teacher. Uh, add ED? We are using no, did. No. no, did you stay home on Saturday? Uh-huh, exactly. Very good <laughs> catch, Evelyn. In this case, mm. we are not adding ED. Can you repeat why, Evelyn? Because we are using did as auxiliary verb. Uh-huh, exactly. So in questions, we're not going to change the verb. So in case that we're making an affirmative statement, that's okay. But in this case, we don't change the verb. We leave it like that because we use the auxiliary did. So in this case, did you stay home on Saturday? Because it's a question. Excellent catch.
I'll give you some minutes for you to continue. If you have any questions about vocabulary or doubts, you can ask. Yes, teacher, I have a question. That Can you return to the, the previous picture, please? The previous slide. Yes. All right. Okay, the slide. Okay, uh, can you repeat the explain the, the, la explicación de los dos últimos, por favor? De los dos últimos, ok. Cuando es un verbo de una sílaba eh, y sigue este, este, este uh -huh. patrón de, eh, es un, un verbo de una sola sílaba y termina eh, um, consonante, vocal consonante, y es, eh, tiene que llevar estrés, right? O sea, que suena un poco elevado cuando lo pronunciamos. En ese caso se duplica la consonante al final y se agrega ed. Por ejemplo, el verbo not, rip, eh, eh, aplican en esta regla. Son los ejemplos que tenemos, ¿verdad? Lo mismo sucede, por ejemplo, el verbo stop. Stop, ¿verdad? Eh, termina en eh, consonante, vocal consonante y lleva estrés, suena fuerte, stop. Entonces en esos casos se duplica la última consonante, en ese caso sería la P y se agrega ED. Eh, y si el verbo tiene dos sílabas, el estrés tiene que estar en la segunda sílaba y terminar siempre en... en consonante, vocal y consonante, para duplicar la última consonante y agregar ed. Por ejemplo, si pronunciamos el verbo commit, tiene dos sílabas, commit, right? Commit. Y el estrés está en la última, commit. Entonces, y termina en consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces cumple esta regla, duplico la última consonante y agrego ed. Lo mismo con prefer, prefer. Es un verbo de dos sílabas. Prefer. La fuerza o el estrés está en la segunda sílaba. Y termina en consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces podemos duplicar la última consonante y agregar ed. Okay, clear Thanks. now? Yes. Ok, good. Finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oof, right now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I wrote it. I wrote it everything. He finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to check your answers. Let me share my screen. Yes, it's ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see my screen? Yeah, coach. I'm gonna check it here. Okay, here you can see the answers. As the first is a question, we needed the auxiliary and we didn't change the verb. And then no, this is comma, I called with ED, my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Then the question, how did you spend your last birthday? I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. What did you do last night? I saw a 3D movie at the Cineplex. I loved it. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Do you go out on Friday night? No, I didn't. I invited friends over and cooked dinner for them. Were your answers correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Does anybody have a question? Yes, it's translate. Uh, uh, number four, did you anything special over the weekend? Uh, translate over, over the weekend. It's similar, you say mean? during. Oh, during, during the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, over That's the weekend. Cool. Okay, good, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. Yo me confundo mucho cuando el over lo ponen con otra palabra a la par. Entonces, eh, en, en sí el significado de over, ¿cuál es? Well, it, it's, um, if it is, it is also a preposition of place. I don't know if that is why you feel sometimes confused because over it is also a preposition of place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, if, if you say over there, no, it's como decir por ahí, over there. If you say, uh, what is my mother? See, if you ask, what is my mother? And, ah, oh, she's over there. Ah, está por ahí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, es over there. Also, if it says over time, es como decir tiempo extra. Mm -hmm. Over, if you say over the years, es como decir a través de los años. El over también significa a través de. Tiene muchos usos y significados, pero el contexto le va diciendo qué es lo que significa. Es como uno lo va ubicando por el contexto de la conversación. Uh -huh. Any other question? Over también significa encima, como le decía, si, si lo hacemos como una preposición, eh, Pero ese, ese encima es eh, sin tocar una superficie. Porque si yo digo on, ese on es encima de, pero tocando una superficie. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, uh, yo puedo decir, the pen is on the notebook. 
pero ajá, él está tocando la superficie del cuaderno. El over es sobre, pero sin tocar una superficie, como algo suspendido. Uh -huh. sí. Is there any other question? Teacher, may I? Yes, yeah, sure, Sandra. Okay. When we say uh, I invited my friends over, uh, it could be in Spanish, invité a mis amigos aquí. Mm, that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Any other question? No. Um, it, when you say, uh, when you say gain over, roll over, what do you mean in, in this case? It's over when you mention that is, and this is like it's finished, it's end, it's done. Mm -hmm. And roll over? Roll over. Like roll over Beethoven, for example. Simple. Roll over. Roll over, como dar vueltas, girar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, roll over. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, any other question? No, teacher. <clears throat> All right, so we will continue. Okay, then let's see what is next. Oh, conversation. How was your vacation? In this part, we're going to uh, check the simple past with the bird B. That's kind of different. So we're going to start practicing the conversation. How was your vacation? Let us share my screen so you can listen to the conversation. And um, okay, here it is. Okay, let's listen. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Mm -hmm. Questions in regards to this conversation? Let me share again. But with the difference. There is a tool. difference. There is some difference. It's different? Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> For example, in the one, the one that we have here, it says, well, something incredible happened, uh, but doesn't say, it doesn't say, you won't believe it. Wow. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Because, well, as I explained you before, it's kind of different because <laughs> that one is the one that you have in the... Teacher. Soy Claudia. Yes. Claudia, yes. Yeah. Teacher, voy manejando en un gran tráfico y está lloviendo. Yo voy escuchando la clase, pero este, este no puedo entrar a los grupos hoy, porfa. Ah, okay, okay, no worries. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Pero sí voy escuchando la clase. 
Ok, gracias por avisar y por el esfuerzo. Gracias. Lo voy a tener en cuenta para no estarla metiendo a los grupos. No, pero siempre me mete, ¿verdad? Pero ahora sí no. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok. Um, well, yes, it is a little bit different because the one that you have in the material, eh, la que tienen en el material, no tenemos acceso a ese listening solamente en la plataforma. Y como hay, la conversación sigue. Something incredible happened. Y dice que hay que escuchar el resto de la conversación para saber qué pasó. Entonces, por eso les puse esta. De esta sí tengo acceso. Y solo cambia unas palabritas y la picture. Uh -huh. Okay, let us listen the rest of the conversation. It says, well, something incredible happened. Now, let's find out what is that. Page 47, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow! Congratulations! But that's not all. Someone made a video of me surfing and posted it online. Do you want to see it? Sure. All right. What do you get? What happened? He won first prize on surfing. Uh huh. He won a prize. He entered a surfing contest. And he won a prize. What else? What else happened? Besides that? I want that? to repeat it, teacher. Please. Oh, you want to listen again? Of course. Yes, please, please. Sure. <laughs> Page 47, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow! Congratulations! But that's not all. Someone made a video of me surfing and posted it online. Do you want to see it? Sure. So, what happened? He entered Somebody. a contest, he won a prize, and what else? Somebody he take a video. A Somebody take a video and up, up, down, or sweep. Uh, Upload. Up, down. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, subió. Uh, post. Post online. Posted. Uh -huh. Post online. The video. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what happened. You can say posted. Posted it online or, okay, upload. Yes, upload, because it's in past, it's, it's, it with the ED, right? Uploaded, yeah, that is. Teacher, are you, are, are you right? I don't see. In the chat. Oh, that's. The chat bubble. Uh, debe de haber una burbujita que le avise que hay un chat. Oh, yes, post. Uh, Post it, post it online. Uh -huh. Or oh, upload, upload. Yes, upload. Uh-huh, but it is in past uploaded. Yeah. All right. So, any other question before we continue? Okay, so we have the conversation and we're going to practice it in group. And you can add something different here. Oh, you can say, wow, something incredible happened. And then you say, 
okay, tell me more. What what happened? He said, oh, I saw a big shark and it attacked me. So you can invent, right? That how, how, what is that happen, right? You can invent something different to continue with the conversation. So I'm going to create the group and you practice this conversation and finish it the way you want. You can be creative. Let's see. Three, four. Okay, let's join the room and practice with our classmates. fine okay um ismael would you like to to be done ismael repeat please would you like to be done quiere ser usted done okay 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 eh, i will be celia si and then si, si gusta comparto la pantalla very good okay Mm, Pueden verla, sí. Yes, yes. Okay. Yo seré don entonces. Yes, you will be done. Uh, uh, does anybody want to be Celia or or may I begin? Hello. Hello. Que si puede, que si puedo ser ya Celia o ustedes quieren comenzar. Señorita Liliana y señorita Stephanie. Well, let's begin. Hi, Dan. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really, it was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were, the waves were, waves. okay. The waves were ama amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes incredible happening. Oh, what else happened? What else happened? Uh, after I visited my grandparents with my family, after uh -huh. um, I go, I went. Uh -huh, you went, uh -huh. <laughs> I went, I went, I went to eat. Pizza. Oh. With my cousin. Uh -huh. Only one. Oh, very good. It was very exciting, isn't it? Wasn't it? It was very exciting for you, wasn't it? Fue emocionante para usted, verdad? Hello. I am alone here. Come on, Stephanie. Liliana Margarita. Hi. Nobody answers. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Finally. Um, who are you? Stephanie or Liliana? 
Hey, Liliana. Oh, hello, Liliana. Do you want to be Celia today, right now? Quiero ser yeah. Celia, usted? Okay, begin. You turn. David, no te vaya a gustar. Sorry, Romulo. Repeating again. Okay. Let's start again. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look you, how long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really, it was cloudy a lot. Um, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. I think it's going to be... la cuana. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I come back. Okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening again. <laughs> Good evening again. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. I heard someone call me. I have a trouble. I have a trouble. It is raining because um, my internet uh, go out. Uh, oh, okay. I uh, know it is. It is raining, so maybe you will have some issues with the internet. Um, yes. And the important thing is that you keep on trying, right? Tienen que siempre tratar de volver a ingresar, pues, para que no les vaya a afectar su su record de de asistencia, but. Okay. Pero sí, sí comprendo. Se escucha a veces entrecortado y es ya. Yeah. So thank you for being here. I'll okay. take it into consideration when I check attendance and I'm going to do it right now <laughs> before mm -hmm. something else happens. And then we're going to continue. Let's see. He said I have a question. Yeah. Eh, eh, en la conversación hay una parte que habla de, de como un mejor viaje, eh, pero se pronuncia the trip. Eh, la diferencia es por qué no decir de travel, eh, eh, por qué hay esa diferencia. It's the function of the word, la, la función de la palabra. Por ejemplo, travel es el, el, la acción, okay. es el verbo, y trip no es verbo, es un noun. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, thank you, teacher. Uh, yes, but it can be also a verb. It's noun y es verb. It tiene ambas funciones. No okay. siempre lo puedo usar. Eh, eh, ese. Uh, okay. So okay. It depends on the function. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Adrián Ernesto. I'm bored. I have a question. Okay, Roberto. Hey, teacher, este... Yo no sé, ¿verdad? Pero como trip es como, como ir de paseo, ¿verdad? Sí, como ir viendo ya ejecutando la acción, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, que yo esté en el zoológico. Ese es el trip. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Ajá. Sí, like a plan. Es como viajar, ¿verdad? Como yo de aquí a mi casa, como que viaje ya al zoológico, por ejemplo. Desplazarse. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Es Así como, es. Es como un plan, ¿verdad? Yes, it will depend, como les digo, va a depender si lo está usando como noun, como verb y en qué contexto lo está usando. Uh -huh. De eso va a depender cuando va a usar trip o travel. Ok, let us check attendance. Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy. I'm here, teacher. Candida Yanet. Candida Janet. Isn't he here? I think he's not here. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. Claudia Patricia is not here. Okay, she was driving. She was driving. Está conduciendo. Diego Arturo. I am here, teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present. And Present. Jerry Alejandro. Present, teacher. Joanna Selina. I'm here. Joaquín. I hear okay, thank you, Joaquín. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Jonathan. Jonathan is us. It's not here. Jorge Alberto. Good evening, here I am. Jose Manuel. Jose Manuel. Judith El Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. María Susana. Present teacher. Melida Rebeca. I'm here. Marjorie Vanessa. Natalie Imperatriz. Oscar René. Present. Penny eh, Alarelli. I'm here. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Romulo Edgardo. Here, teacher. Okay. Sandra Araceli. And teacher. Stephanie Roxana. I'm here. And Jessica Areli. Present, Miss. Okay, thank you so much. Teacher, uh, you didn't mention me. Uh, okay, can I have your name? Roberto Donay. Roberto, ¿dónde hay? Let me check. Where are you? Yeah, right, your presence. Sí, le puse, aquí está. Roberto, ¿dónde hay? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> okay, so we will continue. I'm going to continue sharing my screen. Okay, after that, we have the video, the past of B. Uh, so, 
for the past of B, what is the past of B? Do you remember? Was where? Was where? Was where? Okay. Was where? So where? as soon as we, um, we have the past of B, and as you see here, that is the verb, and it doesn't need auxiliary. It's like an independent part of the simple past. Es como una parte independiente. El pasado simple con el verbo to be, no utilizamos el auxiliar did. Solo utilizamos was a word, dependiendo del sujeto, right? Eh, y no utilizamos otro verbo. Cuando estamos en past simple, hay otro tiempo que se llama past continuous. Ahí sí ponemos dos verbos y el segundo lleva ing. Pero en simple past, we don't do that. Um, as you see, we have first uh, just no questions with the past of B. We use was or were at the beginning, then the subject, and then a complement. Were you in Hawaii? And we use was or were to yes, answer. I yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, yes. we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? It was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. And then we can also use short forms or contracted forms. We use wasn't as contraction for was not, weren't <gasps> or contraction for were not. How do we use it? We're going to use was when the subject is I, he, she, or it. We use were with the subject we, you, and they. Uh, as you see, we don't use the auxiliary did in this part, okay? We don't combine them. The simple past with the verb be is one thing. We don't use the auxiliary did here. We don't use any other verb, only verb be, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Sure. Okay. As for that, we have an exercise to put it into practice. Um, here, it's a question. We have the subject. Were you in Los Angeles last Where? weekend? Uh -huh. Were, Were you, you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I, I was. was. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was. I was in San Francisco. San Francisco. I, I was in San Francisco. How was it? How was it? How was it? Yeah. How was it? How was it? It was, was, was great. Was great. It was great. But it? But it was. Was it was foggy. It was foggy. Okay, it was foggy and cool, and cool as and usual. How long were your parents in Europe? Were your parents in Europe? They were. They were. They were. They were, they were, they were, they were there for two weeks. Two weeks. Weeks. Were they in London, 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 London the whole time? Were they in London the whole time? They weren't. No, they weren't. They also went they to Paris. Paris. Were you away last week? Were you away last week? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. In Istanbul. Really? Really? How long were you, were you there? there? Were you there? For almost a week, I was there on business. I was there on business. Okay, so I see that you don't have any... Um, uh, yes, that's okay for you. You don't need to... Um, okay, and here you can check the answers that we already provided. 
but I I have to ask, is this easy for you? Or you think that we need to practice it more? It was easy. It was easy. Okay, yes. good. Okay, to finish this section, we have this practice. And here we put it into practice, the simple past in the, with regular verbs, regular with the, um, verb B, etc. I added more questions. Tenían unas al principio y les agregué más que se las mandé por WhatsApp. So, yes, I'll get it. Uh -huh. Let's practice. Let's repeat. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yes? What did you do yesterday? Um, what time did you go to bed last night? What time, what time did you go to bed last night? Last night? Last night? What time did you get up this morning? What time, what time did, you did you get up, up this morning? morning? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you what did have you for have breakfast this morning? morning? What time did you arrive in class today? What time did you arrive in class today? Were you late? Were you late? Did you do any exercise last week? Did you, Did you do any exercise, exercise last, week? Week? last week? Yes, what kind? Yes, yes. What, yes. Kind? what kind? Did you watch TV yesterday? Did you, Did you watch, watch TV yesterday? yesterday? You watch TV yesterday? If yes, what did you watch? Did you do homework yesterday? Did you, Did you do homework yesterday? Did you do homework yesterday? If yes, what kind? Yes, yes. What kind? How much money did you spend yesterday? How, How much money did you spend yesterday? What did you buy? What did you buy? What did you buy? Did you read a book or magazine last week? Did you read a book or magazine last week? If no, why not? If no, why not? Why not? What I did you eat at the restaurant last week? Did, did you, you eat, eat at the restaurant, restaurant last week? If yes, what did you eat? If yes, if yes, what did you eat? Did you get a haircut last month? Did you get did a you haircut, get a haircut, haircut last, month? last month? If yes, where did you get it? If yes, where yes, did you get it? Were you happy yesterday? Were you happy yesterday? yesterday? Yes, why? Yes, why? Yes. Yes. If no, why not? Why not? It's no, why not? Why not? Questions about vocabulary here? I have a question. No. Yes? What's the meaning of I could? I could. I could. The meaning of I could. I haircut. Ah, haircut. Es corte de cabello. Corte de cabello. Haircut. Okay, thanks. Okay. Now let us practice these questions in groups. Uh, remember, speaking is important. So oh, sure. if I ask, yes. Eh, sorry, eh, una consulta. Cuando eh, yo veo if, que a veces es yes, a veces es no, entonces eh, siempre tenemos que ver el contexto para saber si if es yes o is es no. If you say yes. It, it, it will depend. Ok. Uh, es, es el contexto. Okay. No, me preguntaba por el if. Ajá, ajá. Ese if es solo de condición. Uh -huh. yes. okay. Es un sí, si tal cosa pasa, ¿verdad? Okay. En caso que, en caso que, ese if no es para afirmar. No, para ajá, afirmar. ok. Yes, ajá. No es afirmar. Okay. Pero esa era la pregunta. Sí, pero en algunas veo que dice no, if, y luego dice no, entonces, si también es una condicional de no. Si no, 
entonces tal y tal Pero cosa. Ah, ah, ok. Siempre hay un efecto. Si okay. no, ¿por qué? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok. Any other question? O sea, lo, lo que se debe entender es que eh, está el if, que significa sí, y está el yes, que también significa sí. Pero que cuando decimos yes, es como que eh, sí, sí, es como una respuesta. Pero cuando utilizas el if, es mira, y si tal cosa eh, sí o no. Y entonces, eh, es, eh, pero es como para saber algo más, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Algo así es debería de ser. Es un condicional. Ajá. Y es también se puede utilizar, o por, lo, o por lo menos así lo he visto, como para preguntar. Eh, example, if you, if you leave me now, o if you no sé qué, o if you, pero también se utiliza como para preguntar. Es, es correcto. Sí, esas you... son las condicionales, son tipos de okay. condicionales que le dicen pasado irreal, pasado real, futuro no sé qué, son un montón de condicionales. Por ahí, hay una que es como, si yo le pregunto, eh, what would you do if you won the lottery? Okay. If you, okay. Ah, if I, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house in the beach, etc., etc., etc. So we start imagining, and that it is como de causa y efecto. So nunca okay. va a ser para afirmar algo. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. okay so um, I think that we, we, didn't, we just have like five minutes to practice the questions. So we're going to do it in this group. Eh, no lo voy a mover a breakout rooms porque perdemos tiempo en todo lo que Zoom nos conecta, etc. So vamos a practicar las preguntas eh, here in the main section. Eh, let's see, Jorge Alberto. Yes, teacher. What time did you get up this morning? This morning, I got up at about 6 a.m. Okay, excellent. I got up. Okay, so you have to move the verb to simple past. Excellent. I got up at and you. So continue. Ask a question to another classmate. What? Can you repeat, please? Ask a question to another classmate. Ah, okay. And Sandra. Yes. Can you tell us uh, what did you did you eat this this morning? Um, for breakfast, you mean? Yes. What okay. did you eat? I ate um some plantains. Uh, what else? Some eggs, some eggs, and and so sauce. <laughs> oh, we can really eat. good. Yes, it was, it was really good, my breakfast, you know. Okay, with a coffee, right? Yeah, with a That's coffee, a good... of course. <laughs> there is no morning <laughs> without coffee. <laughs> no. All right, Sandra, continue. Okay. Um, uh, Joanna, Selena, did you do any exercise last week? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Repeat did, you, did you do any exercise last week? If yes, what kind? Um, ex exercise the jeans or exercise of uh, class English? Any kind. One, two. Oh, okay. I more or less exercise in the in the weekend on the Sunday only <laughs> on Sunday. Oh, very good. But what kind of exercise did you do? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. kind? The class of the exercise did, uh, did you do? It's the bike extension. Uh, um, in the park, park in the park. That's nice. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Joanna, continue. Okay. Uh, Solo, solo veo aquí. Eh, 
Eh, Oscar. Oh, Oscar wow. Wendy. Okay. What did you for? Uh, what What did you wear? Uh, sorry. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, my breakfast this morning. Uh, yeah. I take. I okay. Uh, I take uh, coffee coffee cup and. Um, what more? Let let remember. Uh, <laughs> coffee and in donut. <laughs> no, uh, I don't remember. Please. Coffee in the car. It's my it's my it's my uh, my forty my fifty years. I don't remember. Um, coffee and an eggs or uh, uh, bread, 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 sweet bread. Yes, only. Oh, okay. Okay. With a Thank, you, Joanna. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Joanna Selina. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, Oscar, continue. I don't see the the material. The material. I don't. I don't have. Uh, please. The screen uh, is in the platform. No, in WhatsApp. Let me see the screen. Thank you. Okay, uh, what did you have breakfast this morning? Okay, the nets. Uh, okay, um, Joaquin, Joaquin Ramirez. Okay. What time do you, what time did you arrive in class today? Repeat, please. What time? What time, what time? did you arrive, please? What time did you arrive to class today? The class uh, today. A propósito. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I stay in class. Um, um, eight, I arrived. I'm sorry. I arrived at class. Uh, <laughs> At 730. 8.30. Okay. Very nice. So uh, try to answer these questions. Uh, traten de irlas respondiendo así con su información como un ejercicio extra para que sigan practicando sin popas. And with yes. this, we finish the section number two. Tomorrow we will start section number three. So okay. thank you so much for joining. Remember to complete the exercises in the platform. And see you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Good night. Good night.